What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. So we did it, we finally took down orcs on hard mode, King's Fall is down, the trophy is mine. And what I want to do is walk you through the entire hard battle while showing off the no knight strategy. Now that should help you out if you are lower light or you're with a group of people that have some lower light as well. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now on hard mode, what ends up being different is after you kill the ogres and they spawn their black orbs, knights come out and they seek out the orbs to blow them up before you can. So what that means is that if you're on the platforms, not only do you have to kill the ogres, but you also have to then aim across the arena and kill off some of the knights. So in order to circumvent that, what we do is simply not kill the ogres. And that means that the knights aren't going to spawn and we can kill the ogres at a later date. Now, I'm going to talk about some of the intricacies that you end up doing on this. But first things first, we have our three platformers and two people up top on the Death Singer platforms. And there actually are two titans. What's going to happen is one of those titans is going to pop a bubble with Blessing of Light. And with a touch of malice and blessing of light, they're just going to back and forth, walk into the bubble, and do pot shots at the ogres, all four of them, and take them down. You can see that I didn't even fire one single shot at the ogre. I basically crouched down as far back on the platform as I could, and just to make sure that the ogre never shot at me. After that, I'm up here, and I can look around and deal off shots at the ogres, any ogre that isn't low health. Just waiting around, we're now waiting for orcs to slam, and you can see that he did just slam. Again, I just took a final look around at those ogres to see how low they were. Now that orcs is slammed and his chest is open, everybody focuses fire, and now they go off and kill the ogres on each side. This one had a little bit of health, but I still managed to take him down, and we run as quick as possible to the orbs. There's no countdown or anything, because the knights, again, the knights spawn out immediately on kills, and the vessel is still out. So that's why you don't want to actually wait. As soon as you kill those ogres, you have to run down and go into the orbs. There's no waiting around, no countdowns, no nothing. That's why you want to have those ogres really weak, just so that you can finish them off after the slam, and then just run down and get your orb. And you don't have to worry, there's going to be plenty of time after orc staggers to kill the ogres and get down and everything like that. Just don't panic or anything. We're obviously in the runaround phase, and everybody should know where they're supposed to be running around to stay safe. This is pretty much the area where people die. If you have Sunsingers, that's okay. Just wait to revive until after all of this bombing <laughs> and white bombs of exploding light are finished. Now what we do, I want to get into what we do on the platforms. We actually have people designated to specific parts of the orcs sequence so it's not like we're always at the same platform i'm always in the third position i have ray he's always on the first position and his buddy jot is always on the second now the reason why we're moving around like that instead of sticking to one platform is so we always have the same two people up top on the sisters platforms and that's so we always have our two titans up so moving around platforms can be a little bit confusing the first few times you go through and you'll be like, ah man, this doesn't feel right, this is dumb, this is just stupid, but it really does work. It really helps to keep the same people up there and the same people used to going where they need to go. For instance, since we're always going to have one extra platform that we need to get an orb for, Bulldog has volunteered to always run down and grab that extra orb, wherever it is, on whatever platform somebody's not on. So again. We have one person that's always on Orcs' slam. We've got then our second in position person, and then I was always third in position on the Ogre platforms. And we just walked around like that, and we rotated as needed. Again, it ends up working. Pretty much the interesting thing with this Orcs fight is that it's not like other fights. There's no way to do it quicker. You know, it's not like Golgoroth, where you can deal out more damage and get the fight done in half the time you normally would. No, you pretty much are in concert with your teammates. Everybody has an extremely important job. That's why everybody needs to stay alive the entire time, because everybody is vitally important. Our two titans were important for dealing out enough damage to the ogres and making sure that they had a bubble each time. That's really important. You really want to make sure everybody has a bubble up there, because otherwise they're not going to be able to stick out and deal enough damage with their touch of malices. 
Now we've actually made it over into the middle stage. Orcs is down to his half health, so we're at the shade stage, and that can be a little bit tricky as well. One thing I want to really stress is if you've got the raid heavy machine gun, put it on because you want to kill the shade inside the bubble and that machine gun absolutely wrecks him. It absolutely wrecks him. And honestly, you don't need heavy ammo for anything else. So this is the perfect time to use it. You can see that as I was teleported back, I was immediately into a bubble. And that's because when one of our Titans ended up coming back, he popped a blessing of light bubble right in the middle area. And that's really good because you get teleported back randomly and you never know when the shade is going to be running around swinging his sword in the middle. And if you get teleported back right as he's doing a slam right there, you're going to die and it's going to stink. So having that Titan bubble was really helpful. And again, the heavy machine gun was great. And we're back into our normal spots. Again, looking for our orc slam. Where's he going to start and getting over to our platforms? We want to get into position quick enough so Death can do his run. He was actually doing the running on a Warlock, so what we really needed to do to help him was make sure we were up and in position and ready to go so that ship didn't come down and kill him. Now this should be our final run if we do everything right. Again, I'm at the back side of the platform. You can see we've got our Titan Bubble up there. They're walking around doing damage to all of the Ogres. Death is up there. As soon as he gets the Relic, he calls it out that he's got it. I do a quick hop over to the Death Singer platform immediately from the Ogre platform because that's pretty much the safest way to go about doing things. Looking out, it looks like, see, this Ogre didn't have enough damage dealt to him, but I have plenty of time to go about dealing out some damage to the Ogres on this side. We've got our Invincibility Aura up, and you can see that Orcs hasn't even slammed yet. So there's plenty of time to deal damage to the Ogres, and just take your time and not get too frantic. Now that Orcs' chest is open, we've got him staggered, and it's just time to finish off these Ogres that are underneath. Just hopping down, getting into these black orbs, and we're dealing damage, doing the detonations, and running back into the center. Now we're going to stagger orcs again and have to do one final shade stage. So you saw something interesting on that last run, where whenever I got up to the Death Singer platform, the ogres, their health wasn't down exactly to where we needed it. It just wasn't low enough. And that's actually a good thing. It doesn't mean that our Titans did anything bad. In fact, they were doing a pretty good thing because they were alive. And that's something that you really need to stress. You need your teammates to be alive. So if at the cost of dealing a few more pot shots of damage at the Ogres meant that they were going to stay alive, do it. Do anything you can to stay alive. You can see that there's plenty of time for everybody up top to kind of lean out and deal some more pot shots to the Ogres. Don't worry about peeking out and taking one final hit at the Ogre at the cost potentially of your life. No, just jump in the Titan bubble that's up there and just stay safe, especially whenever that ship comes around or if Orcs happens to be blasting at you. Just stay in the bubble and wait. Wait until you've got the shield back. Wait until some of your teammates come up and can deal out damage to the Ogres. Whatever it takes, stay alive because that's the only way you're going to be able to do this. You need absolutely everybody in order to do this. Of course, if it's at the last stage and you lose one or two people, don't wipe. <laughs> Just try to four man it or five man it, whatever it is to the end. But in the beginning, keep everybody alive. That is key number one. So now that you made it through the second shade stage, it's down to our final platforming to kill orbs. That's it. And you can see he is slamming there. And for the third position, I am always diagonally away from where Orc slams. So I know he's slamming on that front left platform, and I'm over here in the back right. I'm waiting in position. Death drops down, Ray jumps up, Jot's on his platform, and I am up. Again, crouching down in the back and walking as far back as I can without falling off the platform or anything. You notice that I never shot not one single bullet at an ogre whenever I was on these platforms. I'm watching out for Death to grab the relic. Once he does that, I float over into the middle, jump into this bubble, <laughs> right in the bubble, and here it is. Looking out at the ogres, they're all really weak. They're in perfect position on the left-hand side. We have our invincibility aura, and Orcs is just slamming his fist down right there. So it's time to do that final little bit of damage over to his chest as soon as he opens that up. Let's get this Orcs full staggered, and there he goes. Turn around, shoot at your ogres. These ones are going down. There they go. And what you want to do right here, 
is prioritize exploding these orbs. You don't want to have to do another shade or anything, so make sure you see your name up there. If you die, it doesn't really matter because you should have enough people that make it back to where it doesn't matter. Now, my self-revive there was really dumb. I shouldn't have done it because I thought I was going to have enough time to run back, but I didn't. I didn't have enough time, so I should have just waited until now to pop the self-revive. So if you're a Sunsinger Warlock, you can learn from my mistake. Here comes Orcs, and he actually came out with his chest open. So Death was actually running away, and I was like, no, good, turn around. <laughs> Get Orcs. And there it is. You can see that it really doesn't take that much damage to take him down. I wish I could have been alive for this, Guardians, but I sacrificed myself just like any normal hero would. <laughs> and there's the emblem. Orcs on hard mode is dead. I'm revived. Good guys, they never die. And let's see what kind of rewards we end up getting. We got a couple things. We ended up picking up the helmet, so that looks awesome. We have to check that out, see what kind of light it ended up coming through as. And I got a harrowed fusion rifle. Arr, 311, boo. And as far as my helmet, 311 also. I got trolled. <laughs> I got trolled by orcs. And I also got the normal bond, so at 302. So my rewards weren't great, aside from the fact that we took down orcs, and I got that nice new emblem. And that's awesome. This is the no night strategy. It should help you out if your light levels are below 310. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your orcs. And I'll see you around in Destiny. You call that a bubble.